After spending over a week in the San Diego area, it was time to head out. In this episode, the second part of Misty's maiden voyage, we are heading out to Borrego Springs. Other highlights of this video include the Mecca Hills Wilderness, where we were stranded in the desert, the Sequoia National Park, and Nevada City, all in the state of California. So stay tuned. community surrounded by the Anza Borrego State Park, about 90 miles northeast of San Diego. It is a designated dark sky community, so stargazing is first class out here. It is also world famous for these huge metal art sculptures created by the artist Ricardo Brasida. We are driving by some of them right now. to get out of the city and uh, I really need to get more comfortable unhitching, hitching back up and just get more familiar with my truck as well. It is pretty hot out here without any shade but there's a breeze that helps. I couldn't even set up my hammock chair because of the wind. This is my site. I have a beautiful view. There's hardly anybody there. Pretty amazing. I unhitched and went grocery shopping today. They also suggested I'd get some tweezers in case Ralphie steps into a cactus. I also bought an extension cord and a water hose. Today we're exploring Galeta Meadows Estate with all the heavy-duty metal sculptures created by Ricardo Brasida. Absolutely amazing, like you saw it from the road, but I mean to be here is like insanely beautiful. It's gorgeous. And it goes across the road and ends with a little rattlesnake tail. Ralphie in the air-conditioned car. This is so cute. It, it, it looks like a little western town. It's an RV resort and hotel. And it's like super cute. A beautiful pool in, in between. Super cute. There's Sheriff's house. Very, very cute. Uh, every building has a name. And there's a little wagon. There's even a dentist. <laughs> it's so cute. Getting creative with the 
huge bag of oranges that I bought earlier. California grown oranges, delicious. Today, I went out four wheeling with the truck to get more familiar with it because I'm planning to visit the Mecca Hills Wilderness, the Painted Canyon. And uh, before towing Misty out there, I wanted to get some experience with the truck in the sand. My truck has four-wheel drive and we had no issues whatsoever. We actually had a lot of fun driving in the sand. This was the first time I set up the hummingbird feeder and they found it right away. Pretty cool. Tomorrow we'll head out to Painted Canyon. So I made a delicious meal of oven roasted chicken and vegetables with lots of garlic. It was awesome. The Mecca Hills Wilderness contains over 26,000 acres of BLM land. It is located 15 miles southeast of Indio, California. I got no cell phone coverage out here. Painted Canyon to um, the trailhead and there is several beautiful campgrounds so I found one that I liked and I pulled in and Ralphie and I we walked around a little bit and so I found a better one that I like better because of the rocks the rock formation was just beautiful and <laughs> so it was just across the street kind of and I walked there and I thought huh the sand is a little soft and I did my research before, and I know that you can get stuck in it, even if you have four wheel drive, especially if you tow something like. Anyway, so I decided to pull into the better camping spot because I had some pictures in mind. And here we are. We're stranded. We're sitting in the car right now. Yeah. Oh, what a silly thing we did. Um, anyway, here we are, and uh, we can stay. If we're stranded for several days, it's fine. We've got plenty of water, we've got plenty of food. Um, no big deal, but um, so hopefully, one of those people I can connect with so that they can maybe, um, you know, call a truck for us. If somebody comes by that has a. Oh, wait, there's somebody. Super nice person, helped me out a lot today and uh, took me into town so I could make some phone calls and get a tow truck out. After Misty was towed out, I pulled right back into the other camp spot that I first chose and we spent a couple of nights here.
was absolutely stunning, but the heat was way too much. It was triple digits, and it was like an oven in this canyon. We had to head out. So after that desert experience, I again was in need to stock up on water and uh, uh, food and uh, everything. So we stopped at Bonelli's Bluff, which was quite a treat. We got all cleaned up, I did laundry, we stocked up on food and water, and off we go to Sequoia National Park. did not expect a traffic jam at the entrance of the National Park. I was really lucky to get a camping spot there. It was sitting on a hill though, so I didn't unhitch. So while everybody is hustling and bustling here at the Sequoia National Park, um, they all miss on this absolutely beautiful gem here. It's like a waterfall with a swim pool. Temperatures are great because we're in triple digits. So this is quite a tree. Um, let me show you what they're missing out on because they're rushing around. So we got like kind of two waterfalls here. There's one going down. And then there's a big one over there. It was way too hot down there, so we moved up to the northern part of the park. The campground up there was in a little bit cooler climate, and I made a lot of friends, and I found a huge pine cone. Someone left a surprise in my hammock chair. I really needed to get out of the heat, so I decided to head up into a higher elevation for cooler temperatures. stayed in the Lake Alpine area for about a week. Misty's tires were really worn down after only 2,000 miles, so she needed new shoes. And then I finally arrived in Nevada City which was one of my highlights. So to my surprise, Simrit, one of my absolute favorite bands, played at the local park there on my birthday weekend. And her husband, my yoga teacher, Jaidev, was sitting right next to me, so I was able to meet and talk to him. had an amazing time in Nevada City, but my body couldn't take the heat anymore, and I ended up having a heat stroke. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes, driving through days and nights. Won't so I actually bought a portable light. air conditioner, and we stayed at an RV park with electricity so I could recover, but at some point it just stopped being fun. 
after a final stop in Ashland, we headed home to wait for cooler temperatures. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. <laughs> <laughs> 